You know, iMovie is a very capable video editor for something that's branded as consumer software, but it does have limitations. And one of the biggest is its limit of only two video tracks. This is the iMovie interface. And you can see we have two video tracks. We have the main video track and the overlay track. And that is all that you get. However, the overlay track has built-in functionality. It's a multimodal. So you can use it for cutaway shots, which is like B-roll over top of the main timeline. You can use it for green screen compositing. You can use it for split screen where you're splitting with the main video track below it. And you can do picture in picture mode, which is basically insetting the overlay track into the main video track. That's a lot of functionality. The problem is the overlay track can only be in one mode at a time. So for example, if you can't put your overlay clip in green screen and picture in picture mode at the same time. So that hard limit of only two tracks and the fact that the overlay track is only able to be in one mode at a time makes creating sophisticated multi-track video effects in iMovie a challenge, but it's not impossible. In fact, with the simple hack that I'm gonna show you, you can create some very cool effects. If you work in the audio space, You'll be familiar with these terms, overdubbing, bouncing tracks. Well, in video, we call that procedure pre-rendering. What is pre-rendering? Well, the concept is simple. You render out or export an intermediate version or section of your project, then you import it back into your project, and then you just work all the way through until you export the final project. It's a simple but effective idea when you're working with limited tracks of video and audio, like we are with iMovie, at least with video. Okay, so here on iMovie, you can see I have my on-camera clip here on the timeline. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in these two graphics into this clip. So here, I'm gonna find where I wanna put it here. So in this first pre-rendering example, I have this graphic over, so right here, but I'm starting to point. I'll just kind of put it over in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab the iMovie icon. I'm gonna bring it down in here. And so here, when you bring in a photo or an image, this is what iMovie does. It puts the Ken Burns effect on it. If you don't want that happening, just a little quick tip, go up into iMovie, go into uh, settings, and over here, iMovie preferences, see how it says photo placement, Ken Burns. If you don't want that happening, you can choose fit or crop to fill. Usually you use crop to fill depending on the aspect ratio of your photo, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. That's just a little tip for you. So I'm gonna take this off of the uh, image and I'll just go up to do that to the cropping tool and see here it's happening. So I'm just gonna go fit and take that. And then we can see this graphic has transparency, which is what I want, but I don't want it over my face like that. So we're gonna change the mode of this overlay track. And here's the settings right here from cutaway to picture in picture. And there it pops down and now I can position it where I want to, and I can even resize it. So I'm gonna put it over my shoulder here and I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit so that it's something like this. That's good. Okay, so I wanna animate this on. When you create a picture in picture clip, you'll notice it automatically has this fade transition on it. And that's fine if you wanna use it, but I wanna recreate the example. So I'm gonna have it animate on. So to get rid of this uh, dissolve on, there's two ways. You can just grab the little handle down here and drag it, or you can see up here, there's a corresponding little window where it says 0.25 seconds. That's the duration of the dissolve. So either way, if you put this to zero or drag these little handles, you'll notice it goes to zero. We get rid of our dissolve. It just cuts on now. Okay, so I want it to sort of come on there. So what I need to do now is have this graphic over. I'm gonna put a keyframe there, making sure my clip is selected, my overlay clip. Now you can see this little, little bitty window over here with some weird obscure symbols. This is the keyframe tool. So the diamond with a plus is where you, what you use to place or add a keyframe. So we're gonna add a keyframe at that spot. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the clip here on the timeline. Make sure this is selected again. Drag my playhead down here. And then we're gonna go up here and I'm gonna click and drag on my little icon here and I'm gonna move it out. Holding the shift key constrains it horizontally. So here it is just out of frame. Let's play it. This graphic over my shoulder 
and it's using the second or overlay track in iMovie. Okay, so we've got it animating in. Now we want it to stay on camera the whole time. So I'm gonna click and drag it out here. So that's gonna stay on the whole time. If I wanted to bring in the library icon and do the same thing from the other side, I can't because this overlay track is taken up by this graphic. What do I do? Pretty simple. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna export this timeline. So I'm gonna go up to my export settings, go export file. Now here's the key to pre-rendering. When we export this video, 1080p, that's what it is, quality is set to high. I'm gonna set it to best ProRes, the best quality I can. And for compression, I'm gonna switch this from faster to better quality. So I'm gonna export this. I'll go next and I'll just put it here and I'll call this iMovie Icon Pass Pre-Render and I'll put it there. It's very important to label your files so you know what's going on because if you're gonna start doing a lot of these, it's easy to get confused. So label. Okay, now that's rendered out. What I can do now is I could delete all these clips here and bring in my pre-render and do my next step. But inevitably you get down the line if you're creating something and you go, I wanna change it. So what I like to do, I keep every stage as its own project. I'm not gonna delete this. I'm just gonna create a new project. So I'm gonna go up here to projects and I'm going to hit the plus and I'm gonna create a new movie. I'll name it right now. So I'm gonna call this iMovie Add Library Icon Pass. And I'll hit OK. And so here we have it right here. So we'll open it up. And now what I'm gonna do, go to my video clips section here. I am just gonna go over to the finder and just grab that clip. And I'm clicking drag it in to my video clips. So this is my pre-render. This was my first pass when we added the iMovie icon. So I'm just gonna click and drag this and put it in the timeline. See here. So in this first pre-rendering example, I have this graphic over my shoulder and it's using the second or overlay track. Okay, so now the next step is, I'm gonna to go to my graphics event and we're gonna add in the library now. So let's find the timing on this. So just as I kind of bring my hand up, I want the library icon to animate on just like I did with the iMovie icon. So I'm gonna click and drag and take my library clip and I'm gonna drag it out all the way to here. There's that Ken Burns thing again. So we're gonna go up to the crop and I'm gonna go fit and check mark. And here it is over my face. So now we're gonna go up, you know what's going on by now. I'm gonna go here, go picture in picture. And so I want this to be the same size as the iMovie icon. So I'm just gonna drag it over here just to size it up and just can drag like so. Kind of snaps a little bit there. There we go. So I want it to come, I don't know, around here, let's say. We're just gonna keyframe it on. I'm going to now place a keyframe for this graphic. Click on it, add the keyframe here. All right, and then we're gonna back up our playhead to the beginning. I didn't take off the dissolve. I'm gonna zero it out. No dissolve. Now it just cuts on, that's what I want. And so now I'm going to take this back and I'll use my arrow keys just to bring it back on. Okay, now click and drag, holding the shift key. There we go. Just dragging it off stage there. <laughs> and let's see Bring what it at the like. same time, like this. Well, you can do this pretty simply cool. using... All right, so now what we do is you would just export this. You can see what the final looks like. So, so in this, this first pre-rendering example, I have this graphic over my shoulder and it's using the second or overlay track in iMovie. But what if I want to add a second graphic on screen at the same time, like this? Well, you can do this pretty simply using Apple Keynote for Mac, but I'm gonna show you how to do it using iMovie. So then if this was your final video, you would just go up and go export file. I'm not gonna do it, but I'll just show you. This time I would switch it back to high and I usually use better quality. This will give me the H.264 file that places like YouTube likes. And that's how we would pre-render those different passes to create that animation. And you would just repeat the same process for each element that you want to add in to your project.